Now, for the record, I'm Damien Madison. Damien. No. <laughs> How do you spell? Uh, e, oh, that's an E. Yes, okay. that's, that's, that would be an E. Yes, it would. Sorry, uh, thought it was a C. <laughs> oh, no, it's all right. Um, again, I'm Damien Madison, pastor of Stewardship for Friendship West Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas. Um, and I'm here to urge your support for, of course, the bills that have been mentioned. Um, one, because every person has a right to access a fair lending practices. Um, at our church, we actually, I oversee a ministry uh, named the Finance and Investment Ministry. And we actually teach uh, financial lit- um, uh, uh, literacy, budgeting, spending plans, investments, and, and, and the like. And as a result of that, of that process of, of those classes, we also come across certain individuals, our members, who have been impacted by uh, the pay and loan uh, lending practices. And one is a school teacher who is 26 years old, who is a single mother, and her daughter actually needed to go to the doctor, and there was some costs that were associated with that. And at the time, she didn't have the money, so she went to a petty loan, petty loan institution. She got the loan, um, and of course, and she was, was unaware that it was due on a 15-day period. Uh, so when the loan became due, all she could afford were the fees on that loan, which forced her to go get a loan from somewhere else. And then from there, the cycle kind of persisted, and she eventually ended up um, having seven loans that were t- t- taken out, which began with one. Uh, but in her case, fortunately, there was somebody who came in and, and, and who blessed her and, and, and was a benefactor to help her pay those loans off. But again, she she was educated, um, had a small incident which led, you know, which kind of blushed her into a, a, a much larger problem. Also, we had one other member who was a senior citizen um, whose car had broken down and she needed a loan to get the car fixed. Well, she went and got the loan, and of course, at this location. She was told that the fees that were due were actually would be her monthly installment payment. So she was misguided and misdirected. As a result, she paid over $900 on a $300 loan. Never paid any, never made any impact on principal. And to this day, she's still trying to trying to figure out how to work that out. So again, we must have fair practices, fair interest rates, and fair fee assessments in these lending practices. Thank you very much for uh, coming and sharing your stories with us, Representative Lisa. Thank you for coming. Um, yes, sir. Did any of the members come to the church first and ask for a loan from the church first? Or? Well, unfortunately, in our cases, no. We all had, uh, we would find out after the fact. Yeah. So, um, But, no, we do make the, the education accessible to them. Okay. Because I know that you all, I mean, because you have a large church. Yes, we do. All advertising the, the financial literacy, you know, uh, program because it sounds like that is a a, a, a good a great program. It and is. We need more things like that. It is. It really is. Actually, um, various medium. You know, of course, we have website access. Uh, we have what, what, what what's called the FWBC News, where we show every Sunday where people know what we're offering. Mm-hmm. Of course, the bulletin, uh, email blasts, and, and other print media. So um, you know, the information is out there. Uh, the sad thing is, and actually it's a sad reality, and, and so some of a paradox that you know, when persons fall on hard times, again, they, their first reaction is to try and access what's available to them immediately. Right. And, 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 of course, in the case of the teacher, when you, again, uh, Henry Batson mentioned the fact that we have about 23 locations in our, in our radius where our church is located, the sad thing is new locations have, have arisen where banks used to be. So where you could have one, at one time gone to a bank, now you have a pay loan institution in place of that. So again, we have we must have fair lending practices if, they, if, if that's all that, all that's going to be accessible. Right. Did um, if if do you have a program similar to what the gentleman that was up here earlier? Like if someone needed, you know, a hundred dollar social loan from the church, like what type of would they need to go through the financial literacy program yes, first? Yes, they would. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you.